Hey everyone, Andy here, and today I'm back in our learning center, and I'm checking out the Gemini 444. Uh, Gemini 444 has actually been out for a little while. Uh, Convergent Design released it or announced it uh, two NAVs ago. Uh, it is a uh, uncompressed re video recorder, uh, and just recently they announced uh, that it also will record Airy RAW. Hence, I have the Airy Alexa here uh, to demonstrate that feature. Now we haven't done a lot of uh, videos on this product about how it, how it operates itself yet because it's a pretty straightforward device. But we have a lot. We had a lot of questions about the actual workflow that goes with it. So uh, I'm going to do a, a video here on basically how to set it up, and then we'll do a video on some new workflow options that you have available to you that are really nice, and basically how to work with a Gemini and post both with video as well as raw. So uh, th this is a, a demo quick right now of the Gemini, but next we'll do some raw. St we'll do some post stuff with the footage that it, it records. So uh, just so you know, uh, at the setup I have here, I, I have the Gemini here on the Alexa, but actually I'm feeding the signal from the F3 that's recording this interview right now into it, and the F3 is actually putting out uh, 444 1080 video in S-Log, and, and that's what I'm getting onto the screen here, as you can see. There I am. Very nice. Uh, and and uh, how that works is 3G out of the back of the F3 into here for 444, uh, and the Gemini can record that, and it records in a uh, in video mode. It records in DPX file stacks. These are basically an image stack sequence uh, in a folder for every clip that it takes, uh, along with a broadcast wave file, a wave file of audio uh, that records the audio that I have here. So if I go ahead onto this guy and actually just hit record here, off it goes, and I'm recording that 444 uh, video in that way. Uh, I go ahead and hit stop here. Uh, it takes a couple of seconds to close out clips. Just be aware of that. Not a big deal on, on most applications. So. Uh, there we go. And now, just to check out what I'm getting in, if you want to wonder, this device, I, on, on the Gemini, I have a little button here. It shows me that I'm getting a 1080 PSF, 2398, 444 signal, and a single link, so 3G. Uh, click on that again. And if we look at the output, I'll see, well, it's actually coming out 422. So the Gemini has the ability to convert 444 to 422 uh, for monitoring purposes. If you don't have a 444 monitor on set, this is a nice option to have. You can change that though in the output settings here. In mode, I can say, hey, make it 422. That means it actually gives me two 422 outputs, or I can do 444 for, uh, uh, for the, uh, if you have a 3G monitor, or you just, you know, that's what you want to pass it through to something else. So nice options there. Uh, another thing that's really nice with the F3, if I'm using S Log uh, with the F3, uh, I do have this little arrow here, click on that, and it has two things there. One is one to one pixel mode, which basically zooms the Gemini in so it's one to one so it can check focus, which is a nice option to have. And two is apply LUT. Now, because I am recording an S-Log, I have S-Log on the screen here, I may not want to actually monitor an S-Log, though. Uh, this is, so when I apply this little LUT, it actually takes that signal and voila, makes it look more like normal video, it essentially delogs the signal, and it does output that. But the good news is it doesn't actually record that signal, it just strictly outputs it. So uh, this is a great option to have on set when you need it. So on and off, you can check your logs, but you probably want it on most of the time. So uh, I, I'm recording right now, by hitting the button on here, but you can trigger from the time code on the F3. There's a lot more options here beyond that, uh, but I want to go ahead and show you the raw, the raw options as well. So we're going to go ahead and switch the Gemini to raw mode and hook up the Aerial Alexa here. So to do that, I'll just quickly go to the raw button up top there, go figure, hit, air, hit raw, then hit airy, and then hit on. There, now it's going to turn that airy raw mode on, and it's going to tell me to reset because it needs to reboot. Uh, and there's no power switch on the Gemini, so just go ahead and unplug it and don't worry about it. Just make sure these lights are green. If they're red, don't unplug it. Restart. There it goes. And I'm going to go ahead and unplug this cable, which it is the video signal, and plug in a cable from my Alexa here, which is an Airy Raw signal. So you see my Airy Raw signal, and that's just my little, little uh, uh, display here on the table that you can see. Uh, and I'm actually getting raw into it. How we can confirm that, we click on this guy here. It'll say Airy Raw 2997, actually coming out 30p out of the uh, Alexa here, uh, 444, 12-bit log. Great. So this is this is raw data coming over here, and what I'm seeing on the screen is actually debared it, uh, de debared video. The uh, Gemini has the ability to actually debare uh, the uh, raw data and show it to me, and actually output that signal via the other SDI connectors on the side here. This is a great feature to have on set, and just like on the S Log on the F3, hit the little let button and I can apply a lot onto that the same way to de-log, de -log essentially, the, uh, the log that comes off the, that's, com that's generated from the raw data. So 
nice feature to have for sure. Uh, this bar you see here, though, uh, is the Gemini uh, in its demo mode, essentially. I don't have the license installed. RAW is a separate license. You have to purchase it. costs some more, adds more features, of course, but it costs more. Once you enable that, the bar goes away. So I'm going to go ahead and record a little bit of this scene here with the, with, the, with the Alexa. One of the nice things with the Alexa, though, is that it can trigger very easily off of the, off of the uh, camera trigger here and say camera. And also, I want to say also clip and say from camera, right? So what that means is not only is it going to trigger from the camera, but it'll also get the naming convention from the camera as well. This is a great option with the Alexa, meaning that the file names will match. The only thing you have to do in the Gemini is make sure the time and date, uh, the, the date really, matches the Alexa so that the file names are all the same. Important to do. And we're done. So uh, now, uh, if I hit record on the camera, and I'll go ahead and, and do that, it will go ahead and record on the Gemini. So there I am. I'll move the camera around. We'll pan around here a little bit. You can see my setup with the F3. There we go. Very nice. So there is our, um, there is our raw data recorded to the Gemini. Really nice option. Uh, also can do uncompressed with it. Same basic workflow as you'll see will be covered in the next section of this video. Uh, we're going to work with DaVinci Resolve 9, which just came out, which greatly simplifies our whole workflow. So very excited to show you those next steps. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.